All right, welcome back. Now, on Sunday, it will be exactly 50 years since the first human-to-human -human heart transplant that was conducted by a team that was led by a cardiac pioneer, Professor Christian Nethling Barnett. It made headlines uh, over the world, and it also changed uh, the landscape of cardiac surgery. Now, this morning, Leanne is broadcasting live from the Hruoteskil Hospital in Cape Town. Let's find out what she has in store for us. Lee, good morning to you. The world's first heart transplant has been performed. Medical history has been made in South Africa. Newspapers everywhere carry banner headlines and from medical men as far away as the Soviet Union, there is a claim for the dramatic breakthrough. What a news flash indeed that was, a news flash that changed the world and changed the way that operating was seen and scientists were seen. In fact, after that operation was completed 50 years ago, our very own Chris Barnard became somewhat of a celebrity in his own right in the medical fraternity and uh, taking a look at what he did then, which is conducted all the time now, it's become common practice to do heart surgeries, but imagine 50 years ago to this day, standing at the stairs where this operation was done at Grotesker is quite a surreal experience, I must say. Just to take you back to that day, it happened uh, on the 2nd of December. We'll go into details about exactly what happened, but on the 2nd of December, they uh, found the heart, or the 1st of December, they found the donor, and then the operation began on the 2nd of December late at night, I think at about 11 o'clock at night, and it ended on the 3rd of December at around about 6 o'clock in the morning. And that is exactly that moment that things changed in the world as we know it. The first heart transplant done here in South Africa by Dr. Chris Barnard. Well, a very, very good morning to you, and that is exactly what we're going to be focusing in on from here. We're going to take you down memory lane. We're going to take you through this museum and show you some of the relics that are still there on display. It's open to the public to come in and have a look and see, and also just talk about how things have evolved since then, because it's not only heart transplants. You know that there's basically every transplant that can take place uh, in the body. So these are some interesting developments we'll be talking about. Of course, sharing this broadcast with World AIDS Day, the 1st of December, a massive day on the calendar here in South Africa, so we'll be crossing to the Eastern Cape to find out what's happening there. But that's to set the scene of what to expect out of a windy but beautiful Cape Town. But Valen, I know it's Friday, so there's lots to look forward to on this weekend. Good morning to you.